think well, it's Lord Leveson, isn't it? There was something that they quoted in the report that came from Wikipedia and they hadn't sort of bothered checking the source of it. Oh, it was the founder of the Independent, wasn't it? They got a completely fictitious person. Y yes, according to the Leveson... It was, it was quite embarrassing when you've done 200 million words about yeah. checking your facts and <laughs> standards of accuracy to quote from Wiki and get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... The press haven't behaved awfully well, but that is quite amusing. Um, <laughs> it he... was funny because the guy was only ever in Wikipedia because his friend put him in all sorts of entries in Wikipedia as a joke. Mm. His name was Brett Straub. <laughs> yeah. And yes. he said the founders of the independent newspaper were Andreas Whitton Smith, Stephen Glover and Brett Straub. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Lord Leveson wrote this, well, cut and pasted into the report. So it's there. Um, and obviously all the people who've said we've got to have Leveson in its entirety, <laughs> means Brett Straub has to become mm -hmm. a founder editor of The Independent. Yeah. Let's have a look at the three founders, according to Lord Leveson. Andreas Whitton-Smith. Mm -hmm. Distinguished there. journalist. Mm -hmm. Stephen Glover. Equally. And Brett Straub. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yes, this is the fallout from the Leveson report. It emerged that the Leveson report included false information taken from Wikipedia. Honestly, you'd have thought Leveson would have learned to be more thorough from his years as a detective in Chicago during the Prohibition era. <laughs> At least that's what I read on Wikipedia. 